Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do site analysis by hand since you guys seem to really like the Photoshop version. If you haven't seen that, I will link it in the cards. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video to every single person you know. Yes, everyone. Let's get started. <clears throat> First thing I did was to trace the site that I got from Digimap. You can also get it from Google Maps. I did the buildings in point 8 fine liner and the roads topography in a point 2 fine liner. I sketched out my sun path because I didn't have a French curve and after after I was done, my friend was like, oh my god, I have a French curve, it looks so bad now. Eh. Next, I'm gonna sketch out my trees using a circle template, alternating sizes and positions, keeping in mind the scale. I inked my sun path with a 0.2 fine liner in a confident stroke and then I'm gonna color it with yellow, orange and red. One trick to get your markers to blend is to use the lightest color and then darker color and then alternate between the both in the middle where these colors join. Then I sketched out my summer wind and winter wind and filled it with the color blue. Next thing I did was the boundary of the site, which is my favorite line type, which is basically a dashed line separated by a dot. One thing you need to make sure is, is to cross your edges or corners at a dash, not a point. Then I hatched the inside of the site with lines and really try to take your time doing this to try and get them the same width. It makes a big difference to your overall drawing. Next thing to analyze is dimension. So any dimension you think is important around your site, write that down down over dimension lines. So for example, the width and length of your site and the width of the approach. I also then analyzed any important features around the site, which was the water stream. So I colored that with the color blue. Next thing is views in and views out, which means wherever the building is visible. So you can sketch out later how you'd like your building to look from that point. And then views out, which are possible locations of large windows or outdoor spaces. Next thing I'm going to analyze is circulation around the site, which includes pedestrian movement, car movement, and any bicycle lanes you might have, and airplane movement. So this is actually the site analysis for a new project, which is to design an aerospace workshop museum, which you will be very happy to know. I'll be filming for a design process series of videos, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on those. You have basically only one project now, or...? We have one project in three weeks' time, we need to present the final one. Yeah. And we have our dissertation as well. Uh, but the dissertation is a semester long. And then we have another project, and then halfway through the semester towards the end. Okay. So we have dissertation and two projects in one semester. And then next semester is like building management, management and law. Then, noise locations on the site with a red pen. Then, it's the fun bit, which is to sketch out the trees, and I alternated between the type of trees, and then I colored them, obviously, with different shades of green, and then gray for shadow. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see how to sketch trees in plan, elevations, and 3D videos. Color the topography using different shades of green, starting from the lightest, I mean, starting from the highest with a darker green, and then working my way to a lighter green and yellow the lower I get. The last thing I did was to color in the building with a gray marker that mine is on the edge of dying, but it's a Copic, so I will use it to the very end. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something today. Please subscribe if you haven't already, share the video, give it a like, and also follow me on all of my social media, which will be listed down below. I'm Resha Shururu, and I'll see you next time.